what is happening guys Matt Martin is back again you know what we are so let's get into it so you can see guys I'm still here you can see you can see it behind me we still got this in the background and we got obviously the broom there I'm trying my best guys I'm trying to move forward in life but you know these things you know we've got to find our ways but nonetheless one step at a time again if you've seen this for the first time guys and save some time some money please do not forget to comment like and subscribe and we get into respect to this fragrance so guys i wanted to get a smell of this one i did ask for a decant guys if you can help me out if you want to send me some decants by all means let me know and i'll put some information down below um in respect of this one this is gravitas pour om um which is um obviously everyone knows endorsed by mr smelly i understand he's part of the creation of this particular fragrance Everyone says it's a fougere type of barbershop type of fragrance. Managed to get this one from, let's have a look, fragrance samples. Um, a little bit costly, guys. I mean, I think this is only um, just over two mil. Um, Posting and packaging costs around about three pounds, which I think is a lot of money for what it is. You know, you could, just, you could have just sent this pretty much for three out of four. But hey, that's how these things go. Anyway, according to the note breakdown, I've not smelled this one, by the way. So I'm just going to go one step at a time. It seems to have got a lot of love and a lot of likes on uh, uh, Fragrantica. So um, the note breakdown says it has bergamot in the top notes with some mandarin as well as some lavender. Then in the mid, we get this type of pepper spice uh, or pepper with um, some cardamom. And then there's also some coriander and then taking itself to in the base when we've got this type of ambergris, um, oak moss, um, patchouli. And then there's also an element of some vanilla. In my mind, because everyone keeps talking about this barbershop vibe, and again, I'm thinking of vanilla, I'm thinking along the lines of um, Lamal. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm thinking along the lines of Lamal. Again, for this sort of barbershop type of vibe, I think it's 100 mil is costing 90 pounds or so. So uh, you got to bear that in mind. I've not smelled this, guys. So you can see here. Yeah. Get the D, can't go in. Yep. So here we go, guys. First time, first impressions. Ninety pounds, guys. Okay. Definitely an opening with this blast of this type of mandarin citric note. We're getting a sort of spicy sort of vibe coming on there with the, with the I believe it's coriander in there. Maybe some pepper. Um, need to allow it a chance to dry down. It's definitely giving me this type of, I say, this warm barbershop type of vibe. I do understand where people are picking up on that. Vanilla. I don't know if it says it's got sandalwood in the base. Um, let's have a look again. Is it coriander? Let's have a look. This is according to Free Practica. Coriander, ambergris, vanilla, oak moss. Um, it's definitely, we'll put it this way guys, again, if you're not into Fuji type of fragrances, you're not into sort of barbershop type of vibes, and this is not, in my opinion, a young man type of fragrance, I need to allow it an opportunity to die down, I can sm I can understand why it's got an appeal to it, I don't necessarily know about the projection necessarily, because again, this is first impressions and I couldn't talk about um, necessarily the, um, how could I say, and things of that nature it smells like it's got like a little bit of sweetness coming as well i'm not sure if that's coming from the vanilla or maybe again the bergamot is giving that fizz mandarin giving like a touch of sweetness from mandarin okay fragrance guys um probably need some time with it um for me um again i'm i'm in my 30s now so for me i could understand i could wear this i could wear this There's nothing wrong with it i don't think there's anything bad with it at all i'm trying to think what i could compare it to um nothing's coming to mind off the top of my head um so what i can think of to compare it to i think it is a nice fragrance guys definitely more of a gentleman vibe definitely more of this warm crispness type of vibe i'm even picking up maybe on a slightly maybe a bit of an apple note as well this to me it smells like an autumn vibe it smells like a winter sort of fragrance i'd say it's not something that i want to wear in a high heat i think it wouldn't really be appropriate for that definitely got a sort of gentlemanly sort of warm barbershop barbershop-esque type of feel going on there and um, it's not along the lines of Le Mal, in my opinion Fuji, as i say you're getting this type of even sort of woodsy notes going on as well it's not a bad fragrance guys it's not a bad fragrance um 
personally from my pocket and where I am, and again, this is just my honest reviews. Um, who am I to give these opinions? Obviously, it's just what I, I you know, my nose and what I pick up on it, guys. And um, for me, it's good. Um, I personally wouldn't want to necessarily buy a hundred mil of this one for that price, and that's just me. Everyone's different. Um, personally, if I was to get one, um, I probably would have stick with a fifty mil bottle. So I would suggest um, if that's something that um, you're interested in. Probably don't buy, don't don't do a blind buy on this one, guys. Um, it, in my opinion, it needs to be a little bit more age appropriate. So, sorry, it is a little bit more age appropriate. So, I would say definitely go and get a decant if you can. It's a nice fragrance, guys. And I think what's happening now is that this sort of soapy barbershop vibe is coming out a lot more. The opening again seems to be more of a blast. Um, even picking up on the ambergris a little bit in there. It's it's not it's not something I say that I've I've necessarily come across personally when respect of smells for me, but. This is not bad at all. Um, again, I don't I don't know if this is going to be a projection beast, and I don't think that was the aim of this particular fragrance. I, I think it's slightly more something that you definitely would. It reminds me of like a um, English gentleman just had his shave, and this is what he's put on. We just come out of the shower, and this is what he's put on. What is an English gentleman technically though in this day and age? Eh? Nice vibe though. It's nice though, guys. It's nice. Um, I, as I say, I don't know if there's an apple note in there or anything like that, but I'm picking up on some sort of. You could even say a little touch of a little touch of like a gourmand element, but it's not really. There's more fusion type of clean, fresh, soapy, uh, aromatic, woodsy type of vibe that I'm getting. Warm, spicy woods. Nice fragrance, guys. Um, don't get me wrong, guys. Again, I can imagine that Zara would have probably released something like this at some point. The way things go, um, this isn't the same. It doesn't smell cheap. It doesn't smell like it, the opening is cheap. I think this is more of a relaxed, warm, calming type of fragrance. Um, it's definitely something, in my opinion, which is probably slightly more for the mature market, slightly more sort of, again, maybe late 20s going into 30s. If you were rocking this, guys, this is not a club fragrance, so don't expect too much from it in that regards. This is more of a social, chilling out, chilling out, man, having a glass of wine type of fragrance. Easily rock this in the evening. Easily rock rock this um, in a scenario of even easily like a dinner party or anything else like that. I think it's a nice fragrance, guys. I, I think it's actually quite nice, and maybe it will it will, it will um, how could I say it will start to I'll probably start to warm to it as well. Um, me personally, though, for me and the type of fragrances I'm into, and again, this is a criticism of the fragrance itself because I know it's extremely difficult to get your own products out there for for these type of things. But at the same time, I like the fragrance. Um, I personally just won't be paying hundred pounds. Um, 400 mil because of the amount of fragrances I have in my collection. You can see where I am. Hey, that ain't for me. But don't expect it to pop, guys. Don't expect the big B small type of fragrance, B B small type of in your in your face type of cardamom sort of note. When because when people talk about cardamom as well, um, just looking at this one, obviously we think of Lenoir de Lom from Yselhorn, but that's a different type of vibe. Yeah, different type of vibe. This one pops with the cardamom. This one's in your face with the cardamom. This one is slightly more, um, I have to say, mature, sort of wind, wind it down, sat by the fire. Nice fragrance, guys. Nice fragrance. But anyway, guys, do let me know down below. Again, this is my first impression, so it's very difficult to really give you an overall view. Nice fragrance. Um, um, let me know down below, guys, your thoughts and if you actually purchased this one already. Um, and hopefully, I'll see you on the next video. And again, guys, if this has saved you some time and some money, please do not forget to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.